Hey yo guys, Karma back with another video and in this video I am in Esper Online and it has just released. The game is in paid beta right now so if you want to play Class 50 Robux I will leave in the description. And some of you guys may be wondering why am I dressed as a McDonald's worker? Uh, well that's because I make 21 Robux an hour and why not you know. But that's besides the point. Uh, I have, I'm an Esper and so are like 90% of the population uh, that play this game. So, uh, there is a way to actually level up really fast with um, Esper, and the way I built my stats are defense and stamina at number one, alright? Because in this game, uh, strength and special don't really have anything to do with XP. Sure, it might complete quests faster and give you more yen, but I, I, I skipped the yen part and I, I went straight for stats. So, this isn't for really getting yen a lot, but this is more for like leveling up really fast. So, oh shoot, why is that boss here? That's not the boss you want to kill, but um, yeah, so this is for leveling up. So defense and stamina, get those leveled up to at least, like at, just level those up primarily until you're like level 50. Then you want to find the mini boss, the pyro mini boss, uh, pyromancer mini boss, this guy. Uh, you want to find him and when you do uh, you should be Esper if you are a pyromancer it does I don't think it works for this because you need the range of an Esper so if you are a pyromancer uh, yeah I don't know if it works for you but anyway so now that you oh my gosh the boss just flung uh, once you are here you want to first make sure there's nobody here so there is somebody right there you just you know you know you just want to get them out the way you know just kill them or something. Okay, once the pyro- oh, what the heck? Okay, so once the pyromancer is uh, aggro on you, so you want to use your first move, your just your basic combat to get him aggro, all right? And then once you do, just just walk back while sprinting. You want to sprint, so press shift, and then um just just like click click. And once he okay, that's my other point. So when he does his move, uh you can dodge it like really simple because since you are defense and stamina based you're able to dodge fast and take some hits if he does get some hits on you so the re why i said uh damage doesn't matter about experience well determine how much experience you get is because you get the same amount of experience if you did one damage to it uh than like a hundred damage so it doesn't really matter how much damage you do it just matters if you hit it or not so i'm hitting it i get 200 damage each same amount if somebody that did a thousand damage we all get 200 from this boss this mini boss at least so um it doesn't really matter how much damage you do maybe you kill it faster maybe but i mean that doesn't really matter to me right now maybe i'll like level up my damage later in the future but right now, I'm just leveling up my uh, level, my XP and stuff. Why does that boss keep popping up? That's just not supposed to happen. Okay, so anyways. Um, so, yeah. So you might be doing like 10 damage maybe, but you'll be getting lots of XP. So this is what you want to do. Um, you want the boss to follow you. Just keep hitting it like that. You know, just click. And then you want to notice when he uses that move. Look at his toes, okay? It's, it's weird, but look at his toes. When it stops, he's going to blow up just like that. When his like when he's like about to stop and do T pose and blow up, that's when you want to start dashing away from him. So three to one there. So you want to dash away, and you want to stay distance away for a couple seconds after he uses that move, because for some reason, even when the effects are gone, um, it still t causes damage if you get close to him. See, just like that, I died for no reason because the effects are away already so you want to like stay back a bit and even if it does hit you you still have a lots of defense unlike people that come here so many i've seen so many people come here right doing like hundreds of damage and getting xp the same amount of xp we get but instantly dying from like a touch a little touch of that fire move but i can withstand that fire move for pretty long and as and when you um, level up as you do this, just keep putting in defense and um, defense and stamina until you're like level uh, 100 probably. 
See, just like that, I took a little bit of damage, but for a normal person, that would have probably one-shotted them. Because I've seen so many people doing hundreds of damage, but just getting one shot, absolutely one shot. Sure, they're getting XP, but not as efficient as we are. If you, you know, are based on defense and stamina. So yeah, that's really how you do it. You want to kind of like, uh, like go in a circle with it, a circle motion. And if people bother you, you know, you just gotta kill them, all right? They can barely kill you. Actually, nobody has really killed me. You know, you just gotta kill them. So, you see that guy right there? I know it's a bit mean, but like, oh, I can't mess your grind. Q is a great, uh, Volcano Stream is a great move to kill people with. It's honestly like really good, so I recommend using that move. So there we go, yeah. Um, you know, just um, click and then do damage and then once he's about to use his move run 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 you can even predict it beforehand because like i mean i've been doing this for like a bunch of minutes because i mean this game hasn't been out for hours and i'm level 123 so yeah that's how you level up really fast with esper so if you guys did enjoy drop a like Subscribe if you guys are not ready and turn on notifications and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.